Hello again everybody, it's Joe with another 3D printing tip video on using Blender to make cool things for your 3D printer. And if you're looking at this video and thinking this looks a lot like a couple of videos back, good eye on you. You probably wouldn't have even noticed if I hadn't said anything. Yeah, well. I recorded these videos back to back and uh, I'm just showing them to you in order. Because I have the perfect model for this subject today, and I didn't want to miss the opportunity. It's a model for my son's birthday. It is a little robot that he created in a program called Mr. Fluff's Robot Factory. And it very clearly was not made to 3D print on a FDM printer. See, today we're going to be talking about taking a model and cutting it into pieces so that it will print better. And there's a couple of different reasons why you might want to do this. This is one of them, because you have a model that wasn't made to print this way, and so you're going to cut it in a way that will make it better to print. And I'll, I'll talk about how to do that, but you know, maybe if I had an airplane model. Uh, actually, I got an airplane. Wait one sec. Do -de -do, do -do 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 -do. Check out my airplane, little foam airplane. If I wanted to 3D print this, uh, I could just take it, slice it across the middle, and uh, each of these halves would print perfectly fine because this would just print like a tower. It wouldn't even have a problem. YHT perfectly satisfied. Cut it in half and print it, and it would work fine. However, this particular would have a problem as well because it's too big for my 3D printer. So I would have to cut it into smaller parts to make it 3D printable. Those are, uh, there's also uh, a model like this one that has precision and, and, and uh, you know, it, it obviously wasn't made for 3D printing, it was made for the pose. I'm not even sure this one was made for the pose, but my kid made it, so I got to support him on this one. So let's talk about how we slice it up. There's a couple of different ways. Here's one way, and here's the way that I'm going to do for this one. Go into edit mode, select part of the mesh. You can use whatever selection tools you want for doing. I'm using a lot of box select, but you can use circle select as well. Uh, there we go. Mm, hit control plus to grow the mesh just a little bit. Do I want to try going for all the way into the arms? Sure, why the heck not? I mean, what the worst that can happen? All right, let's see if I can get it. See if I can just nick it right perfectly. Now this sort of thing is really good when you have something that has uh, uh, very clear edges and parts. And it really helps if those edges and parts are at nice uh, angles for you to work with. Uh, I am not getting that particular luxury here today. In fact... I'm starting to like this less and less. I'm starting to think that these points right here are the better points for me to break it at. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take it back to here and here. I'm never going to be able to straighten that thing back out, am I? See, the trick is once you find the break point, you got to be able to lay it flat. Ah, well, let's, let's uh, continue on for the point of education and pretend like that's where I'm going to break it. If you press P, same thing we talked about in the last video, the video which I haven't recorded yet, but I know I'm going to tell you about it. If you hit P, you have the option to select by or break it by selection material and loose parts. Now, I want, to, I want you to notice something. See this edge right here? If I want to separate it by what I've selected, what do you think is going to happen to those edges? If those edge points go with the other half, then these lines that are connecting them here will disappear and that's a bad thing because we need those lines to print it. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. They doubled them. There's the points are here and the points are here. And isn't that just the way to do it? Thank you, Blender, for not being dumb. However, there is a problem here. Uh, let's just look at this part here with the robot. Can you see the problem? Big honking holes seeing into the body. We've got to seal those holes off. Real easy way to do this. Hit Alt select an edge, and hit F to create a face. Ta-da! Nice sealed up mesh, and I just cut off part of it. Also remember to do that on the other half, because big holes here too. Oops, wrong button. Right next to my alt. <laughs> you all know I'm using Windows. 
if you didn't before. There we have two solid meshes that we can work with, and that's one way to do it. Let's take and hide that part, and let's imagine I did it with the other half. Here's, here's the other way to do it. We can take and create a cube. And this one's a really good method if something's too big. You create a cube, and you make that cube as big as you want to deal with. Um, in this case, there we go, you completely cover part of the robot. Remember that precise modeling stuff that I was talking about a couple of videos back? The one that I actually did just record and where I looked just like this when I did it? Well, uh, we're going to use a little bit of that. 25 in the X, uh, 19, 18, 18 in the Y? Yeah, why not? Nothing's poking out, is it? Nope. And uh, obviously 50 in the Z. Now I'm going to duplicate this. Actually, I'm not because I want it to be bigger in the Y so it covers up the hands. So we're going to go, well, we're going to go 25. 25, 25, 50. I'm going to move it over. And then I'm going to duplicate it and move it in the Y by 20, uh, in the X by negative 25. And now I've got two cubes that are exactly next to each other but are not overlapping that entirely cover up my robot. Now, here comes the clever part. Add a Boolean modifier to the part, not, not to the robot. We're not going to slice parts off the original mesh. We're going to leave the original mesh, mesh alone. We're going to instead take this volumed box and we're going to intersect it. You know, it's funny. Intersect is like the default setting for the Boolean operation, but we hardly use it. I hardly use it anyways. But in this case, intersect it with the robot. Uh, there we go. And now, this part nicely sealed off. Everything's good. Looks like there's some funny business going on around the edges that I might want to clean up a little bit. And add a Boolean modifier intersect to the robot on this half. And clean, sliced, easily done. There we go. Perfect. You know what? And actually, you know what I want to do for this model is I want this one to uh, move forward into Y. I don't know. How much? I'm going to use the little trick where I... Oh, I forgot to turn on my watermark. Oh, well, you guys have been living without Simon in the corner. Negative uh, 12. There we go. Then I'll duplicate it and move it into Y25. That way, let's hide the original robot. You can't even tell that I hit it because all the parts line up so perfectly. That way I can take this part and print them like that. And I can just lay him down on the print bed and he'll print perfectly. I can take his back and I'll lay him down and I'll print him perfectly. And I'll glue the two halves together and I will have a complete model and it will look good. Do you want to see what happens if you try and print these guys with supports? I printed a couple of these for my kids. Look at these. They're cute, aren't they? I mean, they're, they're neat little robots. But the problem is what I did is I laid them down and I turned supports on. And this is what I got in the back. I don't know if you can tell, but it's ugly ugly I mean just don't look at them from the back and the hands only turned out like half the uh, just garbage garbage don't deal with that we don't want to deal with that we're gonna cut our models up lay them down so they print nicely without supports and we're good to go so that's today's trick is slicing things up and cutting them I want to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel this week but I can't do it by name because I'm recording this way in advance sorry uh, next video, I'll try to catch up with you guys. Unless this is blown up and I've got millions and there's no way I could thank you all by name. And if so, uh, thank you guys. Keep liking and sharing and subscribing. And I hope that this helps some people. And I hope that you guys can start doing cool things. Thank you so much for watching.